then I am going to call this afternoon's meeting of the Northampton License Commission to order October 16th, 4 p.m. Present this afternoon, myself, Natasha Yakovlev and Commissioner Jennifer Ewers. And this meeting is being Zoom recorded. Do we have anybody here for public comment? If so, raise your Zoom hand. And I don't see anything, Annie, do you? No. Nope. Okay, great. So we will move on then to item number three. We have an application for a short-term liquor license for Pathlight at 11 Village Hill Road, Wednesday, October 23rd, 2024, 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. This is for the bash and it is a wine and malt license being sought. And Pathlight folks. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are you? We are good. Good. I'm, Val I'm Valley Dwight and this yes. is Chris Harper. Hello. Thank you so Hello. much. Nice to see you both here. Um, is this the first bash you're having or have you done this before? It's that first one. It's your first one. And is it being held at the um, at Village Hill? No, it's at uh, the Center for the Arts on Holly Street. Excellent. Excellent. Um, why don't you let us know while you have a captive audience, let us know about your event. Okay. It is Whole Children's 20th birthday party, essentially. Um, mm -hmm. So we're having a, a huge birthday bash. Um, we're having the Bandiola Tango open up for our band that we have here, the Friendship Band. No big um, deal. No yeah, big no deal. big deal. Just another day. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and for those who don't know, um, Whole Children is, uh, and Milestones is after school program for kids, teens, and adults with dis intellectual disabilities and those with autism. So um, that's the band is an inclusive one of them and some other um, band members. Nice. Including nice. Chris, she's in the band. Yay. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. So we're having a big birthday party and that's the And bash. it's a fundraiser too for us. Excellent. That sounds awesome. Um, you, we have all of your paperwork, but we don't yet know who your distributors are. Have you sorted that out? Yes. yes, we have now. Um, it is Progression Brewery, mm -hmm. Bright Ideas, Abandoned Building, and Berkshire Brewing. Okay, excellent. Annie, do you need anything additional from them about that, or is, is oh. that? Nope, that's fine. Okay, great. Jennifer, do you have any questions for these folks? No, no questions. Sounds like a great event. Yes, it sure does. Did you have anything else that you guys wanted to add? I don't think no. so. Okay. That's it. That's all. That's it. Easy This is enough. our first time doing this. All right. <laughs> this is amazing. You've done great. <laughs> so we don't have to do anything more. Do, is there a piece of paper that you'll send us or something? Yeah. Or? So we're going to have a motion and a vote. And then Annie will have a piece of paper available to you that I think you can either pick up or... Um, no, it's, don't pick it up. No, no. Uh, so the uh, tomorrow morning, I will go into the the system and I will um, mark it as approved, and then you'll get a notification to pay for it. And then once you've paid for it, then the license will be emailed to you, um, and then you'll have to print it and post it in a conspicuous place um, at on the night of your event. Okay, got it. Right, then Thank you, Jennifer. I think we're ready for our motion. Perfect. So I'd like to make a motion to approve the application for a short term liquor license as detailed in number three of today's agenda for Pathlight for their bash on Wednesday, October 23rd. I second the motion. And Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Awesome. You're approved. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Good bye luck. Bye. I hope it's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. All right. Item number four, we have an application for short-term liquor license for Think Tank Brewers, LLC, DBA Progression Brewing Company for Saturday, November 9th, 12 to 9 p.m. and Sunday, November 10th, 12 to 8 p.m. for Northampton Cycle Cross. And this is at Look Park, 300 North Main Street. And it's a wine and malt license. And hello. Hi. How are y'all? How are you? I'm well, thanks. Great. Can you just state your name for the record, even though we know you? Uh, Drew Starkweather. Excellent. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah. So you're doing cycle cross again. Correct. Yeah. Excellent. Same as same as last year. Great. So um, Jennifer, I had talked a little bit with Annie earlier today because I remembered at 
one of our recent meetings when we approved the Scottish Festival license and we talked about um, serving on the green of Look Park. Do you recall that conversation? So Drew, in the I know you haven't always done the beer for this event, um, but years ago it was much more contained and the beer didn't leave a certain area. Right. Like the service area, it was kind of, it was like the, the jam fund was doing their sausage stuff and then there was the beer and that all sort of stayed in this contained space. And over time, it's just gotten a little bit looser. And so the beer walks around and it's certainly not like a party scene or anything like that, but right. we've, yeah. we've, we've asked other um, events at the park who are using the green to have the, the alcohol service in a contained area so that it's not leaving that space. Is that something that you could envision recreating as it had been done early in early years? This will be our fourth year doing it. Yep. Um, so you're talking about more like ropes, liquor boundary, beer garden. Exactly. Um, exactly. Possible. Um, I mean, most people usually like to have a beer and then go watch the race. Yep. Um, so that could be a, might be a little tricky to have contain people in that regard. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in the past, it was how it was done originally. Um, and it was, I know you set up right by the, the bunny hop area and the food trucks and stuff are there. Right. I mean, everybody's in that same stage. Food and yeah. Food. Yep. Yep. Jennifer, did you want to add anything to this conversation? Because I know that we had talked about it with the Scottish festival. I know. And I've, I've gone to the event, so I, I see both sides. I think yep, totally. we're just, uh, Drew rather, we're just trying to contain the alcohol. I know it is a drag, but, uh, I do believe when the event started years ago that it was in more of a contained, like with the, it was it even the snow fencing, Natalie, uh, Natasha, was it the yep. snow? There was yep. like six, you know, the things that we had. To okay. Um, well, if that needs to happen, then I'll, I'll get with the, uh, Ellen, the organizer. And, okay. Um, figure out how to contain it. Um, yep. I would envision it being contained sort of in that whole courtyard um with food and whatever just sort of instead of exactly. a you know, 10 by 20 spot next to us or something that would be a little weird exactly and maybe with signs that say no alcohol beyond this point or something would be yeah because it's already we're already like in a horseshoe of the yes. event yes yeah so i know what you mean could just put some param a parameter at the top of the horseshoe so. totally absolutely yeah no that would that would make we total sense yeah. Yeah. And then we're just then we're being consistent with all of the events that happen sure. on the field. That would be great. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't I we don't currently have the equipment to cordon it off, but I imagine working with Ellen and Ellen will figure it out. They'll, they'll figure it out. Yep. Yeah. They'll have they'll have what they need. I know those folks. They'll be all set. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's great to see you coming back for another year of it. It's a really fun weekend at the park. Yes, it is. Yeah. Hoping it's not too cold. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm hoping it stays sunny for the weekend. And yeah, and we are bringing the, the full tap wagon, the portable wagon. Oh, okay. this time. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. And that's that's what you set up on Strong, right? Strong. Yeah, and we brought to the taste where yep. we get to serve things that we don't put in cans. Okay, great. Special limited good. stuff. Yeah. Okay. That sounds great. Um, Jennifer, do you have any other questions or comments for Drew? No, but Drew, thank you for understanding. Thank you very much. Yes. Sure. I do remember those old days. Yeah. <laughs> Everything yeah. had to stay contained. Yeah. No, I remember them too. I, and I, I remember a couple of years ago wandering around with my own beer. So it's like, like wait a minute, where am I? Where? <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Okay. Um, and I think we're ready for a motion. Yes, I'm going to make a motion to approve the application for a short-term liquor license for Think Tank Brewers, LLC, doing business as Progression Brewing Company for the Northampton Cyclocross on Saturday, November 9th and Sunday, November 10th, as detailed in agenda item four. I second the motion. And uh, Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Thank you, Drew. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Best wishes. See you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll be there. Yep. Yeah. Good. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You too. 
Okay, then item number five, we have an application for a new common victualler license for Suzette LLC DBA Suzette French Crepery at 150 Main Street, Suite 130. And that must be you. Yes, hi. Um, Hello, this is our new face to the meeting. Absolutely. Yes, can you just let us know your name for the record? Yes, I'm Jean-Luc Wittner and I'm co-owner. Wonderful. Well, first, I want to thank you for coming to Northampton. It's it's all the buzz. People are very excited. <laughs> we, we hear it. about the buzz in Worcester here. So yeah. <laughs> that's really exciting. Mm. Great. So do you want to let us know a little bit about how, how the operation is going to work? Because I know you're in that smaller, um, as Absolutely. you enter from Main Street, you're going to be on the left side on that main level. Absolutely. So uh, basically, uh, we're going to have three products. We're going to make crepes with uh, two stations, a regular station and a dedicated gluten-free station, different tools, different... Uh, we are celiac safe here and recognized for that in Worcester. Uh, we're going to sell pre-packaged take-home meals that we produce here in Worcester and as well as French macarons produced in Worcester, but that we're gonna sell in Northampton. We have a uh, Hasset variants here in Worcester. Uh, since uh, six, seven months, uh, we were we already passed a um, um, uh, health inspection. Um, we're always like immaculate on our inspections. <laughs> so, um, so how it's going to be, uh, is we going to, um, uh, have a transportation log, you know, on Excel, it's already done that we're going to fill out each time we bring something from, uh, Worcester to Northampton, we're going to control the temperature at the arrival with that tool that you might know, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, uh, everything is going to be logged, um, we are going to transport uh, refrigerated or uh, frozen. I don't know if you've seen it behind me, but we purchased uh, those little containers that are on wheels. Basically, it's containers that are dedicated for uh, um, um, medication to transport uh, frozen or refrigerated medication. They can keep uh, frozen at minus 20 for several hours. Uh, costs a lot of money, <laughs> but uh, I, I might. I, I think it's it's worth it. So uh, we're going to be very very safe on on that. Um, what else? Um, we don't know exactly the date of uh, opening. Uh, right now, we are targeting uh, November 18, so the week of Bag Day. Oh, that's great. Uh, it depends on the permits, but basically we already have plumbing and electrical uh, construction goes very, very fast. Uh, the crew is hired. We already started to train the crew, uh, part of the crew here in Worcester. Um, I'm going to operate myself Northampton full time for a few months because mm -hmm. I'm the kind of owner who works in the business. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll figure out shift leads uh, to uh, to make my 100 hours a week a little bit lower. <laughs> I think that's a reasonable goal to set for yourself. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, it sounds wonderful. Jennifer, do you have any questions or comments? No questions. Uh, I wish you all of the success in the world. I'm so excited. I work dangerously close to Thorn, so I... <laughs> I will see you very, very soon in person. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, bag day, if you can be ready for that, would be a very busy weekend for you, so. Yeah, we we, we want to open on purpose a week before, you know, to uh, to uh, assess all the little things that, or things we forgot to buy, the tools sure. we don't have, you know. There's Absolutely. always little things going wrong, so we yep. want to make sure we have a week behind us, yeah. Yep. And one thing that you will need if you're not aware is the um, the workers comp if you're going to have employees if you have staff beyond yourself. It's on its way. Yes, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Then I think we are ready for a motion. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to approve the application for a new common victualler license for Suzette LLC, doing business as Suzette French Crepery at 150 Main Street, Suite 130, as 
detailed in item number five of the agenda. I second the motion. Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Wonderful. We. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> Merci. You're all set. We can't wait to uh, see you in action. And thank you again for coming to town. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Au revoir. <laughs> <Tutelo. laughs> all right. That's all I know. No more French, Natasha. Don't worry. Right, okay, I'm good. <laughs> I've got nothing to offer. <laughs> um, item number six. Do we have anyone here from Fitzwillie's? Annie? Yeah, Fred is here. Oh, okay, great. I don't know why I'm not seeing a, a list of who's here. Okay, so item number six. We have a public hearing on an application for change of officers, directors, and change of stock interests on an annual all alcohol restaurant license for very limited DBA Fitzwillie's Toasted Owl, 23 Main Street. And I will make a motion to open the public hearing. Second. Uh, Natasha? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Okay. And is there anyone here for public comment on this public hearing? Seeing none, um, we're ready for Fred. Oh, I asked him to unmute, but he hasn't okay. been able to. But I, I can just say that um, his, his attorney Grimaldi and Fred came in our, it was either one meeting ago or two meetings ago yep. to transfer the license from one entity to another. Um, the ABCC did not like that application. They, they thought it should go a different way. So they applied, they're now applying for, instead of a transfer, a change of stock interests and a change of officers and directors. So it's okay. essentially the same thing. They're just doing um, a different, they're just completing a different application and it's okay. needed to come back to the commission. And okay. ask Fred to unmute again. I, I don't know if he's unable to, but... Um, all right. Yeah, it looks like he is not. Yeah, he's not. I don't okay. know what's going on, but. Um... Um, so based on your explanation of this on the agenda, again, are we, do we need to hear from Fred if we can, if, if we can accept yours or. I mean, it, it's up to the commission, but it's, it's really, it's happened. Um, yeah, I, mean, I feel that he already presented about this. He did. It's the same, same yeah. thing. It's just honestly administrative it's paper it's a different application it's the same the same no. but different yeah okay well then i uh will make a motion to close the public hearing for commissioner discussion second uh natasha yes and jennifer yes all right so largely administrative and we have already approved this so i see no issue in um approving it again to accommodate the abcc Yep, no issues. This is a 50 year old business that plays by the rules. And yeah, this is just at an admin extra yep. hurdle for them. All right, would you like to make the motion? I make a motion to approve the application for a change of manager and change of officers and directors on an annual general on premises. I'm sorry, I read, I read the wrong one. I'm going to make a new motion to approve the application for a change of officers and directors and change of stock interest on an annual all alcohol restaurant license for very limited doing business as Fitzwillies and Toasted Owl as detailed on item number six of the agenda. And I will second the motion. Natasha? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. I'm sorry, Annie. That's okay. Not at all. Excellent. Word. All right. So they should be all set. Moving to agenda item, <clears throat> excuse me, number seven, we have an application for a change of manager and a change of officers, directors on an annual general on-premise license. This is for the trustees of the Smith College, DBA Smith College Conference Center. The proposed manager is Jessica Massiero. And hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, so can you just let us know who you are for the record since we haven't met yet? Sure. Yes, my name is Jessica Massero. I'm the Associate Director of Events at Smith College. Been here since about 2018, and I previously was the Conference Center Manager. Okay. So this would not be anything new to you? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have no questions for you. All of your documents are submitted. Um, Jennifer, did you have any questions or comments for? No questions. I've met Jessica at other events held at Smith College. So yeah, she's familiar with, with all the requirements. Excellent. Yeah. Nice to see you, Jennifer. Yeah, nice to see you. Will you be at the breakfast? And then we have your community breakfast coming soon. Nice. I will. That's right. Yep. Next week. Nice. Great. I'll look for you. Yes. All right, then. I think we're ready for a motion. Yes, yeah, so I'll say this correctly. I'm going to make an, a motion to approve the application for a change of manager and change of officers and directors on an annual general on-premises license for the trustees of Smith College, DBA Smith College Conference Center, as detailed on item seven of our agenda. I will second the motion. And Natasha and Jennifer. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Jessica, for coming and sitting and waiting for your, your item. Of course. Thank you all. Have a good day. You too. Item number eight. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of September 18th, 2024? I'm sorry. Am I seconding or am I putting forward Maybe. the motion? I can put forward the motion. Yep. Motion to approve the minutes from the September 18th, 2024 meeting. I will second. And Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Oh, I'm fading. This is a tough time of day. <laughs> it is a tough time. <laughs> We're almost done. I know, I know. I'm in the uh, zone. New business. We need to talk about the November meeting. Yes. So it falls on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and uh, city offices close at noon. So I'd rather not do it that day. Um, so I don't know if you want to do it a week before on that Wednesday or if you want to do it on Monday or I, I, it's, it's. Um, I like the week before. What do you think, Jennifer? Is that Wednesday the 20th, Annie? Is that the date? Um, well, sorry, I'm just opening my calendar here. And it's taking forever. Doo -doo -doo. So right now it's scheduled for the 20th. Oh, that isn't Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Thanksgiving's the 28th. All day, I have been telling people that the, the November meeting is going to get changed because it's on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Oh, my oh God. No. <laughs> Okay, we don't need to change the meeting then. Excellent. We'll the 20th. Okay. So, disregard. I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you enough. No problem. Um, since we got through that quickly, is, are there any updates on the Bowery? That's astonishing. Yeah. Um, at what point do you feel like we should have a discussion about that license? Um, I mean, you can have it whenever. I, I uh, Attorney Grimaldi is in the waiting room. Uh, I, I mean, I should let him in. It's a public meeting and I, we can just let him know he doesn't need to be here. Yep. Hi, Nick. Um, do you want, Natasha, do you want to? Yep. Or... That's fine. Nick, we've, we've, are you here for Fitzwillies? I am. We've already taken care of it. Oh, my goodness. I had 430 in my calendar. That's pretty oh, terrible. That's okay. <laughs> no, we approved it. Yep. It and, was um, and Fred was present? Fred was present, yes. Okay. Okay. Any issues I should be aware of at this time or? None at all. Annie explained yeah. the reason for this reappearing on the agenda, and it was largely, it was admi purely administrative, and so we went ahead and approved it so that the I, ABCC is satisfied. I, I appreciate it, and I do apologize for not being present. Annie, thanks for taking thanks. the lead on explaining why we came back a second time. No problem. Happy to help. Thank yes. you. Thanks for popping in. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. See ya. Um, I, so, so they have, the Bowery hasn't said that they're out. Honestly, there's just been no communication from okay. either side. So maybe I need to have, maybe we need to call the Bowery and 
I think we don't want to call because we don't want the we don't want yeah. the bad news. Um, no, I understand that, and I don't want to give them an opportunity to say, "Oh yeah, we meant to tell you <laughs> we're not coming." Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I, 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 you know, I want to be able to take this opportunity to be somehow be creative if we can with how we're distributing this next license in the highest possible way. Yeah, I it's, mean, no one's come looking for one. Yep. So I, I don't know if it's because they just know historically that like there aren't any available or or what, but um, right. Yeah, I guess figuring. I mean, trying to wrap our heads around that would be helpful because I wouldn't. On the one hand, if it if it would be incentive to bring a new restaurant operator to town, knowing there's a license available, that could be useful. Mm -hmm. Um, but certainly if there's, if there are any restaurants interested in a lottery, I wouldn't want to, um, necessarily take that opportunity away from them. But like you said, I don't, I, I mean, the last lottery, I think we gave everybody got their license. Yeah. I mean, no one, everyone that has a beer and wine is okay with the beer and wine. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, I can understand not wanting to make that phone call. Yeah, but maybe we should. I'll, 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 I'll see what Alan thinks. All right. Anything else? Any other new business? No, except for I've emailed Georgiana twice and I still haven't received an updated floor plan. So I haven't been able to give her her updated license. Um, other than that. Okay. Jennifer, do you have anything? I don't have any business. No, thank you. Okay. Then would you like to make a motion to adjourn? I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. I will second. And Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Heidi, good meeting. Excellent job, ladies. <laughs> thank you all. Thank okay. you. Sorry for my stumble. It happens. Okay. Oh my God. Don't even, I already forgot about it. You did uh, something. Zoom saved forever. <laughs> they are all Zoom saved forever. Someday this is going to be like my son's memories of me. Can you believe it? But <laughs> it's been far worse. <laughs> Get better, Natasha. Thank you.